Hey everyone, welcome to our live. My name's Ken and this is Sean and together we are Ken's Creations Chalk Couture. Now, what is Chalk Couture? Well, Chalk Couture is a high-end DIY home decor company taking the industry by storm. It's DIY so easy anyone can do it and you get amazing results in just seconds. Now, how can you experience Chalk Couture? Well, the first way is you can shop at our Chalk Couture site. Just head to chalkcouture.com forward slash Ken's Creations. Plus, in May, when you buy three chalk transfer designs, you'll get your fourth free and there's no limits. When you're on the website, make sure you are supporting Ken's Creations by looking for our photo in the upper right-hand corner. If it's someone else and you would like to support us, you can look us up by searching Ken and hitting Select Designer. Another way to experience Chalk Couture is become one of our Club Couture members. So let's take a closer look at the May design. This is the Sweet Lemon Grove. Designer will get this exclusive B-size transfer, three Chalkology Paste singles, YouTube how-to video, and step-by-step -step PDF instructions and make this adorable project. Every single month, you get some amazing benefits like $4.95 flat rate shipping. Want to be part of our Club Tribe? It's easy. Look for the link down below in the description. Go ahead and add the Club Couture to your cart and finish the checkout process. Now, what would you say if I could tell you you could earn 40% off everything in the catalog? You could also get free product bonuses and incentives by becoming one of our designers on the Ken's Truckologist team. It all starts with our $99 starter kit. New designers can take advantage of a 15% off one-time discount when placing an order. And new designers kickstart their career with something called Designer Debut Rewards Designers, which equals more free product. Calling all previous designers. In the month of May, we're inviting all former designers to come back home to Chalk Couture without the requirement of purchasing a new starter kit. Look for and click the welcome home promotion link in the description of this video. From there, finish the enrollment process making sure that Ken's Creations is your sponsor. Now customers join Trocator every single day for different reasons. Some customers just want that amazing 40% discount. Others want to sell the Trocator product. Some want to play with it and host workshop and classes. And people want to build team. Enrolling as a designer is easy. Head over to our website or use the link down below. Choose become a designer. Make sure it says Ken's Creations so you you are joining the right team. Scroll all the way to the bottom, hit join now, and fill out the application. We cannot wait to welcome you to the team as a Ken's Chalkologist. And we want to make sure you are getting the most up-to-date information. So make sure to get your notifications on your favorite social media platforms. Stay up to date by subscribing to this channel and hitting that bell icon. Make sure to get all alerts by choosing all. Also, go into your YouTube settings and turn on your notifications. Be the first to know when we go live. Make sure to like our page, hit the follow button, and set it to see first and all notifications on. If you're on your mobile device, you can do the same thing there by looking up our Facebook page, hitting that like button, selecting the follow option. Make sure your notifications are on, see first, and you can even edit notification settings to make sure the standard notifications apply. Well, good evening. Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great evening today. Happy Thursday. We've got all kinds of uh, kinds of stuff to do. As you can see in the graphic, we're going to be doing that fabulous farmhouse hello with the board and the greenery, the ribbon, you name it. It's all going to be there. Can't wait to show you. Oh, it looks awesome. It looks awesome. I can't wait to see how it turns out. And we've got some news, too. Let's talk to Hello, Eddie. everyone. So first and most importantly, welcome to Thursday. For some of you, it may be a Friday. I don't know. But huge shout out to Sean, because Me. right before we went live, he said, hey, how do I share this on Telegram? So tell everyone, what is Telegram? Telegram. Take it, Sean. Telegram. Ooh, I got tilted. Ooh. Tilted. So Telegram, it is 
on our link tree right down there. It'll tell you to go there and all you have to do is kind of get into our Telegram. This way, we have found a way that we can let you all know when we're going live. Like, hey, like today, just a moment ago, you may have gotten one if you have already signed up that stated, Ken's creation is going live in 10 minutes and we've got news to tell you. So it's the way to get it. I hope those who have already signed up received it. You should have. And we want everybody to do that. So if you have not signed up for Telegram, do it today, tonight. Go to that link. It's right there. You can't miss it. It says everything about uh, Telegram. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. I was trying to be so uh -oh. funny. And uh, <laughs> that didn't work I'm, out. So, you know, I'm so sorry. That, but anyway, that failed. That's that failed. Epic fail. Failed. It failed. I was like, oh, he's not even going to know You trying to be stealthy. Ground. I was being so quiet. Nope. Fail. This is my life. Anyways. <clears throat> Can you please leave? Thank you. It's easy. It's always something here at Ken's Creation it Studios. Is. All right. So we talked about Cam, or what did we talk about? Telegram. Telegram. This is throwing me for a loop. I am so sorry. So the like Telegram. It's all over there now. I'll get it. Sorry. Telegram is in the links. Look at the links that are down so below. It says it's below, right there. it says, did you miss a notification? It's under that one right there. Plus, Sean can share you the link. Okay. The other things I wanted to chat about before we get to the project number one, sample kits are here. People are loving them. And people are sharing this. It's so cute. I've had so many people say, oh my gosh, I made my chocolate to our first project. It was so easy. Can you give me more information? Um, just to let you know, you can have these shipped to US or Canada. You get an exclusive surface. No one else can buy this. You get an exclusive transfer. Can't get this. You get shimmer shadow and you get a squeegee. Plus, fun fact, Fun fact. There's a ribbon under there. Da, da, da. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right back. So um, we are doing good there. Uh, you guys know that we are gonna be creating stuff. Right now we are in two catalog cycles. We are in spring, summer collection 2021 and celebration suite 2021. We're gonna make a project out of here, but before we do that, before we do Big that. news. Okay, hold on. Big, 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 big news. Big news. Big Gargantuan. So today, I got a text that said, hey, what are you doing Saturday Morning at, at 9, 9 a.m.? And I said, I don't know. What do you want me to do Saturday at 9 a.m.? What are we doing Saturday at 9 a.m.? We're going to do this. Oh. So that's Hunter. Hunter is coming home on Saturday. Do you want to see him? He is so gentle. I have a video of him playing with his sisters and he just is watching them, thinks that like they should simmer down now. So let's show you that. <laughs> One sec, gotta get that out of the way. So he is right there where it says red. Right, right below, right between the two, between the three. Look at him, he's just like, what is happening? What is, what do you hear? <gasps> what do you hear, Cece? What was that? <laughs> See her, what was that? Did you hear something? You better come look. Did you hear something? Oh, what'd you hear? Oh, you are not going to be ready for this. Listen, mama. Okay, excuse me. So that's our big news. We actually are getting him earlier than I thought. I thought we were getting him May 28th. But no, we are getting him May 22nd. So of course, we'll do a live once we get him and show him off and all that good jazz. But I had to share with you. I reached out to Sean as soon as I knew and I was like, well, guess what we're doing Saturday? We have to get up early. And he's like, what? And I told him and he's like, you're serious? All right, let's chat about our project. So our project today is basically centering around the farmhouse, Hello. 
let me explain what's going on with this. Down below in our links, you have two options that you can purchase the Farmhouse Hello. These are available back on our chalk sites uh, for $39.99, which is $5 cheaper than they were. And that is because we no longer have the greenery. These were so popular, we can't get enough greenery back in stock. So we took $5 off, we're putting it in this kit, and you'll still get everything else. So you will still get the pretty cool round, okay? You're going to get the ribbon. You are going to get two packets of black velvet chalkology paste, two packets of bright white chalkology paste. You will also get a, uh-oh, a paintbrush, two color trays, and placement tape, and a mini squeegee. So this is for $39.99. The only difference is the one for $44.99 has the green ring. Both of them come with the exclusive Hello Transfer and really nice instructions that are sturdy and you can create this nothing, project. Nothing flimsy. Nothing flimsy. No. So, if you want it for the 39, you don't care about the greenery, those are available on my site until they run out. Essentially, once we're out of ribbon, this will be retired. Now, we have been told that the surfaces will be a highlight in our next release, but down below in the links, there's one for $39.99. That's on our retail site. If you want the greenery, I did order extra of these when these came out. So if you want this with the greenery, number one, if you are a Club Couture customer, fill out, you know what to do. To, to do, you know what to do. To do. But if you're not and you still want this, I do have a Google form you can fill out to pay retail. We do have shipping in there. I have 35 of them, and then they're gone. And then they're gone. I'm telling you, they're Well, so one's already gone, so you now well, have 29. Well, two now. Yeah, two, open. yeah. Well, no, I can do this on this. Yeah. Okay, so I can, of course, walk you through how to make this project, which is right here. I'll have Sean zoom in on mm -hmm. it. Super cute, super on trend, lots of fun, very easy. But it literally, we have a video down below to show you how to do this project. We have the PDF down below so you can see this project. Why do that when we can do something new and exciting? But... First, a little update. Sean. Yes. Last night, you yes. did this, and there was a lot of questions on some stuff. So I'm going to give you this, and you can tell them what, what you wanted to test. Okay, we wanted to kind of find out, because this is that uh, Dixie Bell. Right there next to you. Oh, yeah, it's right here. These are the Dixie Bell. Turn around. I'm doing it upside down, but that's okay. Um, the Dixie Bell Moose. Gemstone moose. Here it is. Like this one's the amber, which is this color here, the copper penny. Here's that beautiful garnet, which is the red. Uh, diamond is silver. And then the gold is something that says gold. Anyway, we want it now that this has been sitting for basically 24 hours. I know a couple of people wanted to know, well, can this come off? Well, let's give it a whirl. Let's see what happens now that it's been air drying for 24 hours. I'm not gonna use any water water right now. I just want to try to see what it's like using a wet uh, baby wire. Oh, what if I wanted that still? Sean! <laughs> oh no! Oh so no! That's, so that's... Oh no! I really didn't want you to do that! <laughs> so that is what, just using a wet wipe, I could probably put a little water spray on it, let it sit for a moment, I can take a border racer if I really, if I'm having a little trouble, I bet you $100 a border racer will literally take that all off. So as far as we know, within 24 hours, it's still able to come off, but it's still dry feeling. Yeah, it's touch. not coming off by the touch. No. So you can see it comes off a little bit here, um, but it's not hard, coming right? completely off. So yeah. that's a good, good insight, Shani. Yeah. Thank you good. for doing that. So I hope everybody got that the one. people demanded to know, and we wanted to get the people their answers. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. You're welcome. So, in that spirit, I wanted to create something kind of fun and exciting with this round. If you go on Pinterest, if you go on YouTube, Facebook, 
and just look up Welcome Round. That's all. You're going to see a ton of projects like this where it's a wood background, a white stripe, maybe two other stripes, and a general saying, hello, welcome. Well, guess what? Being on this bus and going through all these neighborhoods and stuff, oh yeah, you won't believe how many I've actually seen on their door. These oh. welcome rounds, I see them yeah, everywhere. They're everywhere. Or the tall post style, yeah. but this round one is very popular. So I want to kick it up a notch, and we're going to be using another Dixie Well product. Now, cannot stress this enough. I do not have the link for this product down below because I am on my Chocolate Tour channel, but this is a product we have been just kind of playing with. Now, before I even get started, I don't personally love the name they gave this product because it's it it is it but it's not and what it is is it's their transfers they call them transfers but they're essentially a peel and stick um so i don't personally think they're a transfer they're kind of like a rub on um you'd see like at the craft store where you want to you know transfer a pipe, something onto a piece of wood or anything like that and it is a pressure setting. Now, before you guys all start saying, oh, we're, get it, yeah, I love it. I'm gonna let you know right now, this thing requires pressure to release it and it requires a lot of pressure. So let's get started and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna spruce this up. Now this, tra this one is called the Lace Transfers. You get four sheets. So these are not reusable. These are not something that you can put on and wipe off. Once you put this on and it's on your surface, oh wait, ta-da, it's there. So you're not gonna be able to come it off unless um, you take a, uh, I don't even think of what, because you can see real up close where it's, uh, you can almost see like the sticker look, but isn't that gorgeous? It's very muted in the background. So I'm gonna show you how we did that. So we're gonna start with that. Um, so, this is 16 inches, which means Oops. our center point is eight inches. Oh, so I'm wrong. I thought it was 18. I was going by a good guess. I thought it looked like it was 18, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, 16. Yeah, it's 16 inches uh, round. So I'm gonna use our handy dandy uh, mat here, our cutting mat, so I can, I want four and a half inches at the top and the bottom. So in my kit, I got my transfer tape. We're gonna open up this cutie patootie. Thanks everybody. Everybody was so quiet. I was going, are we still live? You never Good. know. Yeah, everybody's, I think, is just in, just engaged on what's going on. So glad everyone's still here. I can go check if you want me to. Nope, they're, they're okay. answering. Yeah, they're answering. Okay. So, on both, both platforms. So we're good. Good, I'm so happy. Okay, so I'm just lining up this here with the center point of about 11 inches. So let's do it right here. And then I need four and a half, which is four, and then these two little lines here. Now you could, of course, measure this. So you get it exact. Hi, Jazzy. I don't get to see Jazzy much now. I know, it's so, so sad. sad. All right, and then we're gonna flip this around. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna line this up on our, the, I, here's the deal, you guys. I don't use this mat a lot when I'm painting or pasting. Couple of reasons, number one, um, it's harder to clean. It will come off. The other reason is if I heat this mat, it will curl and not lay flat. So I tend to go to that uh, glass mat, but I do love it for lining up our projects. So we are once again in the middle. I want to go up to four and a half. So right. Oops. Little treasures by Nancy. She's new. Hello, Nancy. Thanks for joining us. Katrina, you must've came in early or late. <gasps> the new puppy oh, comes no. on Saturday. New puppy comes early, coming on Saturday. Okay, so we should be good to go, but I will double check. So from the bottom here to there, it's about four and a half. From the bottom here to there, perfect. 
And we want to make sure this is down nice and good. So we're going to fold this just over here so we're protected. Okay, so I cannot stress this enough. The product I'm going to use here is not, not stress is enough, a chocolate tour product. And it is a one-time use. Um, but it is cool. This is what I love to do. I love to incorporate different things into our design. So here it is. This one I said is the lace transfer. So this is not a, I don't like that they use transfer because people have already asked me, oh, so I can use my paste with it. N no, it's a transfer meaning like it's a going, sticker. Yeah. So it's like a, a, a rub and peel sticker. I think this would be something that you would paint your product like a chest or whatever it may mm -hmm. be. And you put that on top of it and that color would go through that. Yes. Okay. So we are going to only need to use half of this and we'll use the other half on the top. And so I'm going to grab some trimmers here and I'm going to line it. Um, Sean can zoom in here, but yeah, this transfer, good. it sticks on here until you're ready to go. But it has a little bit. And the reason I'm doing this is I love this pattern, you guys. It's gorgeous. Um, gorgeous. So we want it to line up at the bottom of the teal right there. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm just mm -hmm, gently. Okay. And then I can just kind of remove this to see, oh, because we want to be able to use the remainder of this up top. And you notice I didn't take the back fully off, and that's because we're going to use it up top. Okay, so here is the transfer. Now, this is really cool. I love it. I am going to tell you some tips that I've already learned by using this product of theirs. Number one, it's best to trim your sides. And the reason is we have to add pressure to this, and it could easily transfer onto our table. So I'm going to get my self-healing cutting mat and just take a some form of a knife. You do not have to be perfect because we can just break the transfer later off to the side. We'll burnish it off. So I don't want you guys to get sick of on transfers. I, I When I first heard the product, I thought it was going to be like our transfers. It's not. I mean, I guess it is a transfer. It's transferring something. It's transferring from one place to another. Okay. So this is pressure activated, meaning it's not heat, you anything. And they do give you a little stick and they recommend going from the outside in. And when they say it's pressure activated, that is what they mean. So I am going to just, first of all, make sure everything is sticking and then you're just going to burnish. Now, they do give you, this is the, um, there you go, Sean. That's what's on top to protect your wood. And you can see where I burnished it. And you can see I got grooves in it, but it didn't upset my board. It's kind of like a, a decal. Yes. Yeah, a good way of putting it, Stephanie. Thank you. So I do love this design. If we had this design in, um, like this was a pattern in Chalk Couture, in a heartbeat I would do it because it's way easier because we have to really push before you pull up. You can see right there, it's already kind of pulling up. So, Sean, go ahead and you want to do that on the bottom and I'll get the top going. Yeah, so I'm just going to... It's a varnish, like... Like I said, you are transferring from one from one format to another. No, I get why it's called what it's called. It just doesn't compute for me because I... Okay, stop right there, please. Mm -hmm. So, can you zoom in right there? I can. So, uh, this is how... See. Just like all... Worry this is this. how you know if it's transferred. What does it look like? So, that's what it's looking like. You can actually see that there's an air bubble up above it. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going for a distressed look, so 
If it rips and doesn't give me a perfect feel, that's okay. You can also use a brayer. Um, and this is going to be kind of like, it does kind of remind me of vinyl because when you lift it up, if it starts lifting up, you have to just immediately put it right back down and push more. And it's a, you have to push pretty good. It's, which is good because you, if you mess it up, you don't want it to lift on you. Um, but it's a little, it can be a little tricky, I'll say. So maybe I will send this into, we have a designer form where we can tell Chalk Couture what we want. And I'll say I want a design like this because the design is what's beautiful on this. See, this is why I love Chalk Tour. Don't get me wrong, good product. This is a very good product. It's just, I have no patience, people. See, look at that. I have no patience. All right. So the corners, it you can see it's kind of jagged on the corners. Just take your finger, and I just take it off like that. So the intent for this isn't necessarily a reusable. You're going to do this, but the nice thing is, is once it's on here, you can paint over it, wax it, and um, it's pretty permanent. So if it, you can see right here, I have a little clump because I wasn't patient. Okay, so that's kind of the look we got with it on the bottom. And I'm gonna let Sean burnish this so I don't, I got trigger point injections today, so I do not want to overstress my neck. Yeah. Do you mind? No, of course not. We're just gonna continue here, making sure it's all good to go. And I'm doing it kind of like a 45 degree angle. If you're you've got problems with your, with a wrist or something, kind of do it this way. It doesn't hurt as much actually. Going back and forth, just rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. I was watching one of the gals that does a lot of Dixie Bell stuff, and you know, I saw her doing the same way, just working it, working it to where you want it. Wink, 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 wink. It's almost like it's just like doing a transfer from. Uh... So my only complaint with this is, you guys, this is like when I say this is first looks. This is first looks. Yeah. Sean hasn't even played with this product yet. Um, number one, it reminds me very much of vinyl. You have to make sure you burnish it, burnish it, burnish it, so it does that transfer. I think on smaller pieces, like accent pieces, it would be fine, but when you get to these bigger pieces, it's literally a, a reason why I kind of fell in love with Chalk Couture. Mm -hmm. April Belton, first time here with us from Ontario. Hello. Hello, April. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Glad you love it. This transfer is from Dixie Bell. Once again, I, I'm not in love with the name that they gave it because to me, I don't, I, it's so hard because I don't really think of this as transfer to you. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to go with it because you guys get the point of how long, but look at that. Dun, dun, dun. So we're going to take the corner and anywhere we didn't like it, take off our tape. And the nice thing about these boards is they're on both sides, so we can decorate both sides. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to let Sean get you guys a close-up so you can really see this because I do want you to know, because it may not come on camera, when you look at this, it very much so looks like a decal. Not bad, not good. I'm just saying you can see around it the offset that it creates. So if you are looking for a seamless look, that's why I love chalk. I don't know, can they see it? Uh, a little bit. So you can see that, maybe if I got the, the pen here. So there's an edge here, 
and then you can see the blue line here. So there's an edge here of where the material that we're talking about is connected to or where this stuff is on. And then you can see the actual item here. So you maybe you guys should be able to see that. I'm hoping you can. I think I can zoom in a little more. And that's his full zoom there. So the edge is here. Then you've got the material. Then there's the edge again. But it's there. If you look real close, you can kind of see it around in certain places. Even right here, you can kind of kind of tell. What? The how you can see the edging of where that yeah. stuff material is. But it's all there. It's 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 hard unless you're really looking for it. Yep. Okay, so I am going to put just a placement tape back on here because I do want to paint the middle section in a white. So, using my placement tape, just... It is pretty. Yeah, don't get this. Yeah, it's very pretty. Oh, I like it. And to be honest, a lot of their designs are like single designs meant for other purposes. All right, so I'm going to grab the bright white chalk paste out of my kit and a color tray and we're going to need this and the kit that you get has the color tray and the paste and it has a paintbrush now anytime you paint with our product you got to remember a couple things numero uno you're going to have to add a little bit of water to make it a little bit more um thinner and and i cannot stress this enough if you are going to have a base color um let me see if i have an example for example let's say we were to paint this brown or blue okay so if we were to paint this blue and then we're going to put a hello transfer on it in white let's say you're going to want to wax in between your layers especially if white is going over any dark color we're talking candy apple cadet uh black anything like that sometimes what will happen because our paste is how it is it is it dries flat and it will absorb sometimes it will absorb the color from underneath so sometimes you'll put white on candy apple and you get a pink so if you surface in between your layers you won't have that issue. So keep that in mind. Does that make sense? Yep. Oh, that I like makes what, sense. I like what Heidi called it. It's uh, They said maybe they should call it wood tattoo. Oh, it's like, yeah. It's like that henna tattooing. I We will be doing a, a video on it on our other channel. We just, it's been crazy. crazy. Okay, so it is kind of a feel on our paste to paint with it. You do want kind of a... I would say like a water, um, a, what consistency would you say? Which we're trying to get for? Yeah, just so you can color with it. Uh, in our instructions, mix water into your paste with the paintbrush until it's a smooth and thin consistency. Thin. Thinner than what it started out as, I guess. Are you talking about me? No. <laughs> All right, let me grab this uh, paintbrush that comes in the kit. Now, when you paint with our paste, it is super awesome. You are going to want to go, I personally think, in one direction. Now, if you want this beautiful brush look, um, you can achieve that or you can get a nice solid look. So we're just going to add. Now, this white is probably going to take two layers just because it's going on brown. And that is why they give us two paste packets in our kit. I love this kit, you guys. Like, I... So, if you see, as I'm going back and forth, I'm getting more of a brush look. You can see where I'm stopping over here. If we do two layers, it's not going to be as big of a deal. But other people might say, nope, you should just do it the one direction. Name of a band, One Direction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sean, I don't know if I should be proud of you or embarrassed that you said that. <laughs> just sounded like, just sounded good. I don't know. It's like the biggest band in the last yeah. 10, 15 years. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's true, but 
think in sync. I'm back straight boys. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. A little agua. We split a little more in there. We can. This stuff paints amazing. Mm -hmm. Now you wouldn't have to do this if you like the brown, um, but I want my hello to pop. pop so pop, 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 pop. So and the placement tape is giving us those thin lines. Dropped a little bit of white down on my. Okay, so once I've done this, we're gonna use our quick dry tool to dry this. Now you, a lot of people say, well, can you use a hair dryer to dry this? You can, the one thing I will advise, be very careful on your high setting because it will dry sometimes so quick and it cracks. So just keep that in mind. Would you mind trying that like it? Sure. Oh. It's kind of... I know, something's deep. going on with this. There you go, Shawnee. Nice. And listen to the two different sounds. So See, this is, here's one. And it's like just barely blowing. Two. But you can still hear me. That's the nice thing. Ooh, time to hydrate. Time to hydrate. Time to. There are a couple sections on here that's a little thicker than others, so it's going to be just a moment longer for that to dry. A chip. Don't judge me. I didn't have lunch. I oh, know. I did. I had to order from uh, Jimmy John's and had it delivered. Walmart They're freakishly fast. We want those for stuff. Huh? We want those. No <laughs> judging. No judging. No lunch. Ravished. Ravished. Mm -hmm. And now he's going to take some of it. I just want a little bite. Sean always has a little bite and then he eats half of it. So but I'm in my nerd clusters. It does need a little of a dip. No, it doesn't. Ruffles are perfect just like they are. Okay. On this top layer, I do want it a little bit on the thinner side just because that's what I want. Do you totally use your mixed drink maker? Absolutely. Sean loves that thing. I love it. I tell you, those mojitos, oh, so good. The gin and tonic, I'm not a big gin and tonic, but I like it. It's nice. Right? Isn't gin the one that tastes like pine trees? Smells like pine trees. Doesn't taste like pine trees, but it smells like pine trees. But yes, gin is. It is, right? Oh, I'm sorry, Sonia. You can't chew in their ears, Sean. No, she said she joined Weight Watchers, and she says, oh, those look yummy. <laughs> I joined Weight Watchers like 10 times. Well, not really. And watched my weight go up. You. One time we did okay. Only once. We did pretty good at one time. Don't bogart the chips, I know. Okay, so I am going for kind of that brushed look. So I'm just going to add a little bit more paste. Now, if you are doing that, where you kind of want a really bold brush mark, 
you want to make sure it's dry, dry, dry. And we'll actually probably even wax this because it's white and I tend to pull up white. Did I miss any spots, Sean? I can, the lights kind of dim it. Let me see. Mm -mm. Good? good? Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, so once again, if you're going for a brushed look, I'm just gonna grab a, it doesn't really even matter, a chip brush and very gently go over it. And we get those nice kind of groovish If you have some that's kind of a clump, just break it up, just like that. Not a lot of pressure. How does that look, Sean? Do we need lines anywhere else? Or do you think it's good? I think it looks good. Okay, so. Heidi says, have you tried the new, or I don't know if they're new, Bay Cocoa Fusion drinks? No. I'm but loving it. She says, I'm literally. loving it. Okay, I'm gonna use my hair dryer on this one. All right, so it's still pretty wet, so we're gonna wanna dry it a little bit more. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, um, and the reason why is because I put a lot of paste to get kind of that wood grain look. I could have taken my wood grain tool and just used it, um, but that's okay. So while it is still drying, I'm gonna do this really quick. All right, let me get to that. Creative kickstart. Yes, 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 yes. What did I do with the quick? Right there. So here is the Creative Kickstart preview for June, which they're starting to do. They did one last year before the uh, next uh, catalog came out. So this way is to kind of help you kick your new catalog and whatnot into gear. So you can see there's three of them here. They all have that same type of fonts, that, so they're all workable with it, all three of them. Absolutely cool. To the fridge and back, cookie clean and fresh coffee daily. It's Awesome, awesome, awesome. The deal with this is, that's the only part I don't know. So on June 1st, um, it will be, if you hit certain uh, price points, you get it out of transfer. I think it's 50, 75, and 100, but I could be wrong. Okay, yeah, that's kind of like what they did last But I'll night. let all of our Club Couture members know, and I'll let uh, customers know on our Facebook page. Yeah. Okay, so we still need to let this dry. I put a lot of paste on there. Um, so surface wax, we don't actually use this stuff a lot. We've been lucky to not have to worry about uh, waxing in between layers, but on this one we're going to just for, for the reason we put so much paste. On the back there is, it's kind of stuck good, but there is instructions. Come on baby. Oh. <laughs> All right. So like pulling teeth? So recommended for use on porous or unfinished surfaces to prep from chalk transfer adhesive and create a smooth surface for use with our paste. Sure, surfaces dry and clean. Apply an even coat of wax with lint-free. Allow wax to dry, then buff. That is the official way to do it. I 
do the fast version, but I'm a little scared because this is still very wet. Is it really wet? Wet? Wow. Yeah. I'm going to be over here, Sean. Okay. So while he dries that, I think I need to make, move my microphone here. I'll do that. What? Yeah. I said I need to, I literally need to take this microphone and move it so it's like right here. But mm -hmm. there's a speaker above me up there, but I'll find a way to get it up there. It'll be easier to talk. Okay, so okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit. And this isn't like the wax, the traditional wax you'll see in the paint department, like Miller's or no. Min Wax. This is more kind of like a chapstick feel. Yeah, it's, it's a paraffin wax based is what it's based on. So that's where they based it and then they added a couple other things to it so it would um, work well with the pastes. And I'm not pushing hard, I'm just very gently adding it. They wouldn't tell me what it was. Sean's trying to get the, the secret deets for you, Pete. I tried, I really did. I don't put a lot on, I just take a towel, put a little bit and then I go in the same direction back and forth. And then it will say you should let it dry for 30 minutes. We, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah. We speed that up by using the hot setting on a hair dryer, and you'll actually see the wax kind of melt and adhere. You probably didn't see it, but it does turn into a almost, wax. Almost it's, a liquid. It's like a wax of a candle. And when I see it go from that flat to that wax, I'm just going to lightly buff it off. Lightly. Do not use time. All right. So, ta-da. That's how we wax. Do we know when the wax is going to be restocked? I don't. We do not. We do not. I'm going to take off my protective tape here. Ooh, that's so satisfying. Oh mm -hmm. Sean, no more chips. And the mic, or turn your mic off, please. On the replay, it's really loud. <laughs> if people are wearing headphones. Sorry. All right. So, in your kit, if you're making the kit, they do give you this beautiful ribbon. I love it. But we're kicking it up a notch, and I am going to do... Where'd my ribbon go? Which one? Oh, right here. Oh. I love this black and white ribbon, and it's going to go right here and here, but I don't want to staple it. I actually want to glue it, and I'm going to show you my trick on that. I'm going to put this over here. We are going to need two of these, so I might as well do another. This, this is life for me. So... This is the Xyron Create a Sticker. Literally, it has a little roll down here. This one's out. The little roll has 20 feet and it is permanent adhesive. Essentially, anything you put through it, it creates a sticker. Yeah. Goes just right in. And then here's the entry. So literally, all we have to do is put the ribbon in and wait for it to catch. I don't know if you can see it down in there. Yeah, a little dark, but. The ribbon will catch. I try to keep it as straight as possible. The biggest thing is you don't want it to ripple. And then we just tear it off on the end. And now 
literally the package says on the top, rub, rub, rub. And the Xyron technology does the rest. So when we remove this, we now have this, if I can get it, there we go. And I just remove it real slow. Okay, and now, you guys, this is a ribbon with a perfect layer of adhesive. I always do one more kind of make sure, um, and I slowly take this one off because I'll show you here. Sometimes, especially when it starts, it does this gunking up, and so sometimes you really got to burnish that end, but once it goes, like now, it literally is awesome. I need to burnish it just a little more. There we go. Now, if you have a tape runner, you could do the same thing. Um, depends on what's in your arsenal of adhesive. But some people will... Here, let me take it off the ribbon in the middle part. So you can see I have it on the ends. I took it off in the middle part on purpose so I could show you. You can also do the exact same thing with, if I have one, a ribbon, just like that. You can add adhesive this way too. The only reason I like the Xyron is it does a, an even layer, I guess. Yeah, Leslie says, love my Xyron. It could be a lifesaver with small bits and pieces. Oh, it's a lifesaver. The reason I originally got it is, for those of you who have followed me all the way, um, I used to do a lot of cutting on my Cricut, and we bought, to this day, I still get mad at myself because we bought 80, paid $89 for that Disney Mickey and Friends cartridge. Oh, Sean was like, we are not buying the, because the Cricut cartridges used to be that expensive. Mm-hmm. It was ridiculous. And Sean was literally, he's like, we, we can't afford to do this every day. Like, is this the one you want? And I'm like, mm -hmm. So much better than burning your fingers on with hot glue. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. And sometimes if you don't have a, a thin spout, it can get too thick or too wide and you'll have glue coming out the edges. Thank you, Linda, for sprinkling. All right. So this is the part that truly is where the magic is. You want to rub, rub, rub until it releases that adhesive from the top and adheres it to the bottom. I've even seen people do it and run it through their die cutting machine um, because if you don't have enough pressure. Today's word of the day is pressure. We had to use pressure on that. The, uh, that transfer, we're using pressure on this. Today's word of the day, Sean. Pressure. Under, Under pressure. pressure. All right. Where do you get the Xyron? Um, you know, I don't even know if Joann's carries them. I always got mine at Joann's, and then my refills I always got at Amazon. I'd ask for it for, like, in a stocking for Christmas. Um, cause I go through the, the mini X the most, they have a nine inch machine. They have, I mean, gosh, so many different machines now. Um, but that's where I get. Mm -hmm. So for right now, I'm just going to place it on the back here. We'll attach this later, but this way I want to try to give this to someone maybe and uh, cut it just perfectly, but I want it to fix here. Walmart carries them in Canada. Uh -oh. oh, that's right. I think our Walmart does too in the um, their craft department. Mm -hmm. Joanne's or Michael's says Betsy D. All right. So here's where we're at. Beauty. Isn't it cute? I love it. 
Well, thank you, Leslie. That's very nice. She says, uh, I've been following you from the very beginning of my crafting experience, both with Cricut and now Chalk Couture. You guys are great at explaining things. It makes it so much easier to understand. Oh, thank so you. that's very nice to hear. Because we do get flack sometimes for our length of our lives. People are like, do you know you've been live this long? Okay. Let's do this. So this is the Hello Transfer that is exclusive to the Chalk Made Hello Kit. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple things. Even though we wax and we wax and we wax, this is a new transfer and it is sticky. And even though we want our transfers to be sticky, that's what why we buy them, they're reusable. Unlike the transfer, like with Dixie Bell, it's a one-time use, you're done. This can be used over and over again if you keep good care of it. But the two biggest reasons you're going to ruin the transfer is number one, you do not fuzz it. And when you go to pull it up, it it literally will rip or yeah, tear. Yeah, can, stretch, yep. whatever. So the, you didn't fuzz it. And the second way you can ruin a transfer is by using scrubby pads to clean your transfers. That's yes. why we use the magic erasers. Um, most of the time when people are like, why did my transfer leave behind little teal residue or whatever or why did it pull up my paste it's because you probably didn't fuzz it and typically two three fuzzing is okay but when we're going over something that i put a lot of paste we want to make sure huh shawnee that's right hmm. the long lives are my favorite says norma Leslie says, I don't mind because you're always teaching. Always something to learn. I need more black. Uh, you may have to get it from up there, I think. Yeah. Can you show them how to remove the lid and what they look like right now? I've been mm -hmm. getting a lot of comments on that. I just want to go wash my hands the, before uh, I do this. The seal lid. Just show them that like those are temporary. So Temporary lids, eventually, when they get the, the better lids, the better seals, they'll be a lot better than these. But this is attached. You're just going to get your finger neat, finger nail right up on it, and it should pop right off. These will come off real easy. This one's already been, this one looks like it's been opened anyway. And you can reuse it again. You just put it back in the lid, like so. Do, 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 so this, do, has do. Been, this has been opened before. Oh, it has? Yeah. Oh my gosh! I think you may have had it misplaced. I am not blaming anyone that rhymes with Nazmin, <laughs> but it is her favorite color to you. She's, I tell you one thing, Jazzy's like, I'm going to go make videos, you know, I want to, she's a blessing. I couldn't do what I do without her in my life. But uh, with that said, when I look down here, I'm like, what videos do you use? She like uses black on everything. She's like, I like basic, black and done, white and done, Kenny. So Betsy out. says, didn't you get two black packets with this kit? Yes, we did. Yeah, and I would normally use those, but I actually use um, a lot of my singles to give people out in public. Yeah, so we keep those when we get them. All right, so we are going to do Hello in Black Velvet. I'm going to do my best to make sure she is... I'm going to do a little bit of a tilt. Eh, maybe not. Tilt or no tilt, Tron? I thought the tilt was kind of cool, but it's up to you. Like that? Mm-hmm. Fatima says, your humor is great, too. I've been with you for so long now. Enjoy the lives. Thank so you. So we are yet again going through a transformation, so stay tuned. Tomorrow is my big day of getting that content right, Are you? Oh, yeah? Yep. Tomorrow's the day. Oh, boy. So I might not be on social media too much. You like the tilt or no tilt? I kind of liked it. Like well, this? A, yeah, just a little one. Just doesn't have to be much. Right about, what do you think? Yeah, just a little bit. Like that? Yeah. Kathy says tilt it. Okay, yeah. double check me, make sure it's in center. Good. So you can see I'm going to go a little bit off onto my ribbon. No big deal. Just because I thought I had it measured correctly, but these are things that they happen. 
Ooh, and I probably should have added some water. So this could pull up. Let's hope not, but it might. Because this black is pretty thick, Sean. Would you need to wax the surfaces if you don't chalk on the wood surface? Chalk drawer will tell you to always wax these type of surfaces. Um, we don't generally, but I will tell you, I forgot how good it is when you wax something. It's so, so creamy and velvety. This is Terrible. supposed that is supposed oh, yes, to look like that, that. If you noticed on the transfer, there. it yeah. did have it on even there. in the L's. Yeah, so those are supposed to be there. That gives you the distressed look, and it, which also sees if it's not perfect, it still looks good. Are Luna and Hades coming to meet Hunter? I'm assuming eventually they will, because Hades is going to have to get used to another boy in the house. That'll be not fun. That was an alarm to remind me something, so I'm going to have to put a note on it. One moment. Need to write a note. So that's what's really great about some of our transfers. They have that built-in um, distress in it already, so it's really cool. I need a Nothing. Oh, you're not talking to me? Nope. Okay. So what's the Jennifer Smith? What's the big news? The big news is um, we will be getting Hunter on Saturday morning at nine Pacific. How's my job going? It's going very well. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm actually I was on this. I've been on the same bus for the last two days. I'm going to be on it again tomorrow because the guy who is because uh, I'm aiding, I'm not a bus driver officially, but I will be eventually. Um, he had the f three days off, and they have a couple special need kids that have to have somebody there uh, because of what's wrong, of what they have to go through. So I am on that bus. Yes, picking up Hunter on Saturday. It's going to be so good. So they're they're completely weaned from mom and eating food and everything. Um, oh, I love it. So, can't wait. I know, isn't that awesome? Look at okay, so we just need to finish up our last couple of little things. And we will be done. So let me dry this. So once again, um, can you throw up the chalk made kit, what it's supposed to look like as our thumbnail? Yeah. If you buy the kit, explain how the two different price points too. So, as you see right here, the one that's literally right there in front of you with the greenery, the ribbon and everything, this is the $44.99 one. Mm -hmm. Ken's got some here because the ones that are at Chalk Tour themselves, they are missing the greenery. They literally didn't have enough to pack into the kits. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. Very so fast. they dropped the price $5 to $39.99. So you can actually get that. If you don't care, if you got maybe got greenery in your own home and go with that, you can go with that. If you don't have greenery and you want one, he does have some here. I think we've got about 20 something. Um, so that's one what we're going to do. So either way. Do you know which uh, staples are in here? I are don't. I think you might need to open it a little bit. There might not even be any for all I know. Yeah, they're long. Yeah. Went the super shorts. Ooh, yeah. Super short. Super short. So the greenery, um, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people are excited. This is pretty basic greenery. Um, nothing against Shark Couture, but um, so when I saw that they were bringing the kits back without the greenery, I was kind of excited. I mean, you can see I'm using the greenery right now, but it just, with your own greenery, you can really customize it. Yeah. But they really wanted a kit that was had everything and you didn't have to do anything but just put it together. Mm-hmm. Easy breezy. They are thankful that I'm working since I have worked with special need kids before in the past. Actually, one of the kids that I used to work with um, at St. Luke's goes to the high school. I haven't seen him around but because his parents always drive him in. But one of the other girls knows them very well. 
She says, well, if I see them, I'll tell them hello. And I said, thanks. Yeah. That yeah, looks so cool. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know. All right, so now we just need to add a bow. If you want a bow, you don't have to add a bow. But, gotta add a bow. A bow wouldn't be a bow without one on it. Where'd my bows go? Your what? I had some extra bows from last night's project. All right, you know, I have no idea. Not yesterday, but the other day. Oh, well, I'll make a bow out of this, I guess. Let's see, should I use that? Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What kind of bow should we do? Whatever kind you want. That almost needs to be iron, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. I can iron it real fast if you want. Eh, yeah, we'll iron it. I'll put it on later. Um, I'll iron it and put it on later. That way we don't have to waste time and be getting it open and stuff. But it does need to be, Sean's right, it needs to be ironed. It's pretty. So once I get that part done, I'm going to put it on. Or do you think it matters? What? Ironing it? Probably not, but I mean. What do you want to do? Yeah, you want to iron it, don't you? Yeah, because I mean, okay. depending on how big the boat's going to be. And it's just cloth, so it'll it'll flatten out real fast. Yeah, it will. All right. So since we're not gonna add a ribbon until after the fact, um, we we can show it off. Show it off, baby. I'm so upset that those ribbons are gone. Almost like that, but with a bow. <laughs> Can you show me how large the banner is supposed to go together? Uh, the ba I'm not sure what you mean by that, by Christina. I'm kind of like, not sure. Jennifer, the wall that you're seeing is wasn't really hard at all. It just you just put it on, do it, boom, you're done. Boom, you're done. Boom, you're done. Some of that stuff was um, hot mess, which is really easy. You just put some colors on it, and you're done. All right. Well, they, I, they, eh. okay. We'll iron it and put it up. Oh, but the, oh, Norma, nice idea. She says, just use the mini press. Oh, you could. Yeah, Actually, nice. we could just almost do it like this and put a string around it. I know. Let me see how that looks. It actually doesn't. Ah, don't you know, Bobby? The large banner that has magnets on the board to stick them together. The large board, what? This is what Christina's asking. The, their, uh, their canvas. She first said, um, can you show me how the large banner is supposed to be, I'm, I think it's supposed to go together. The magnets are awful. Oh, she's talking about our pennant. Yeah, our banners. The banners and then the bottom they have the magnets that go together. Oh, so, yeah. so if they get mixed up, they don't line up. So sometimes the bottom one should have one on the top and the top one on the bottom, but they'll adjust on you sometimes. If it is not working completely, meaning you've tried and tried and tried and it's not working, absolutely uh, send. If you're a customer, you can just call a truck tour, send us an email if you bought it through us whatever and we can get your replacement yeah. if they have it in stock. Yeah, for any reason the magnet went in the wrong way and you're getting the same polars like north north or south south that yeah obviously that's a problem if there's a way to pull it out and flip it then it should be okay flip it down and reverse it i get it now sorry christina <clears throat> bless you no not a cough it's a cough a little bit of that 
Ruffles got in the way. <clears throat> you mean all anything or? I'm not sure if I want to. I'm, I'm just mulling over if I like Dude. this look. That's all. If I want a bigger bow or if I like this look. I think, do you want a bigger bow? I would say a little bigger, but. Okay, we'll add it later then so we can iron it. What do you guys think? Just pretend there's a bow. <laughs> pretend there's a bow. Isn't that pretty? I awesome. do have. I just can't find it. I have a bow maker I got from We Are Memory Keepers. And that big comb looking thing? Yeah, and it works really good, but now... Is it, did it actually go underneath the oven? Oh, it might have. Let me see. Maybe? You didn't put it anywhere, did you? No, I haven't touched it. Oh, I found it. it. Oh. Okay. This is kind of cool. I got it on clearance, so... <clears throat> Depending on how you... I've only used this once, and it kind of confused me, but that's okay. But how big of a bow do we want? Um, <coughs> Oops. It's a little bigger than it was, I would say, maybe another inch wider. Do you want to do a two inch, or a three inch, or... Three inch? Yeah. Well, maybe, well, three inches only, what? Maybe four inch. I'd go maybe four. Four inch? Yeah. So you literally use the comb, okay? So this will be the tail of your bow. You use the comb, you push this one down as much as you can. You want to try to double it up if you can, but this might... It's supposed to come back. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna double it up. I'm not going to double up. Let's make a big bow. What do you think? What do you think, Sean? Sure. It's a thick ribbon. Marshall says she just bought one. What? A uh, bow maker. They have a lot on the market, and and I've been impressed with a lot of them. I really do like this one because it's simple, easy. The one thing I don't like about it is th it doesn't give you good instructions. It's on the back of the package, so if you throw that away, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. But it, I mean, it's when I say it's a basic bow maker, I'm sure people have hacked it up and made it. But then, so you just tie it. Nikki has an old wooden bow maker. We have one, we have another one too that's wooden with pegs and everything. Where can you get the chalkboards for a decent price? Depends on which ones you're talking about there, Miss Nikki. Nikki, the best thing if you are wanting our chalkboards for a good price is reach out to us and we can tell you the options of like becoming a Club Couture member and, and saving mm -hmm. or Always, as a designer, you're going to get the best price. Yep. Look at that. A little handy dandy. All right, so I'm going to do, let's see. I want those to hang down. So let's do right about. Oh, me girl. <laughs> I freaking, this bow maker is everything, Sean. 
It's like a big comb, but look at that bow it did. I know, isn't that cute? I'm out. I'm done. Brought mm. Mike. Got Mike. Riles, we just won at life. It's time to... What are you doing out here? Look at that bow. Oh, Sean. I'm I a know. professional bow maker now. I'm surprised. Yeah, I know. Nikki, I'm going to give you a, a link here. There's one that just popped up as a designer, and I'm going to give you another one for club. Let's see. Look at how freaking cute this is. Look at how freaking cute this is. I oh, know. Hold on. Sorry. <gasps> that is so cool. Look at it. So you could obviously make... It as designed and follow the instructions, or you can give it a little shazam pew, pew. and look at that bow. That bow was made by a professional, okay? <laughs> I highly recommend We Are Memory Keeper. Oops, I don't know what it's called. I don't even know where I got it. You don't? No, it was on clearance somewhere for $2. Steal. Just look at this bow. Look at it. Look at it, Sean. I know. I'm seeing it. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, I'm glad we did the bow live. Look at how cute you are. All right, you can oh, show me again. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That did not copy paste like it was supposed to. Wah, wah, wah. I'm going to try again. Okay. I love it. I'm obsessed. And I mean, it's really... I mean, I didn't do anything drastic. The only thing I did is in the instructions, they have you paint with black paste to do the lines, which is great. But I want to just add a little more ribbon. And then I do love this down here. Yep. It's, cool. it's not overpowering, so it doesn't overpower the board. But it is... I love it. You guys love it? Yeah. Heidi says maybe Tuesday mornings. Uh, it, I don't think so, because you haven't been there in a while. No, I'm trying to remember. I don't know. Maybe Joanne's or... No, it wasn't Joanne's. It wasn't Tuesday morning, but it was a discounter like Tuesday morning. Oh, it was Ross. I got it at Ross. Oh, in the cross right. section. That's right. You that's went right. to Ross. That's $2 right. at Ross. Dress for less and get your cross spice. There you go. All right. I love it. I hope you guys had fun tonight making it with us. I love incorporating other products. Um, I'll get a photo up for this. So, if you want one of these kits, remember, without the greenery, $39.99. With the greenery, $44.99. If you want the greenery, you have to reach out to me. There is a link down below to fill out a Google form. Yes, absolutely. And Nikki will reach out to you. Yes. Please do. All right, guys. Awesome Awesomeness. Bye. Thanks, everybody. It's the opposite of hello. Bye. <laughs>